Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for all the comments and likes on yesterday's video. All right, let's get right to it. I want to track some areas of rain and storms, but this area, this disturbance just off to the east of the Eastern Caribbean, that's what we're watching for the possibility of development, not in the short term, not over the next day or two. And that's some good news for us in Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, uh, back through St. Kitts and Nevis, and even swinging back toward uh, Puerto Rico, uh, because we're not going to see development over over the next day or two. We will see some rain working in. I'm going to zoom down with our tropical model to uh, show you that. But in the short term, we have this disturbed area over here, some scattered rain and storms battling now with that dry air, the orange shading. That's the dry air above our heads. And right now, I was showing you this yesterday. Now it's moved into that dry air. So a mix of some moisture and some dry pockets and dust in here. Now, the first thing to watch out for is what happens once it gets past the dry air. So I'm waiting Waiting to see this disturbance kind of swinging near Puerto Rico. And then after that, as it approaches the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, that's when I'll look out for some areas of development or the possibility of some development, I should say, once it gets over here. But in the short term, it is dealing with the dry air, and that is a good thing. Now, getting a look at this map, which always looks a little bit scarier than it is, this is not a cone. This just is a shaded area saying, hey, uh, in this uh, region, we need to keep an eye out for this system to see if it does spin up. But this is the area here. It's not even a classified system. It's not a named system at this point or anything like that. And it will not be for a couple days. But once it gets toward the Bahamas, that's when we could see some development. So what happens with it? Well, the computer models are all over the place. That's because the environmental conditions are all over the place. I look at everything, not just the models. But let me show you what we're seeing here. Here's Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. It's this area of disturbed weather here. Here we are, Barbados. Get back towards St. Lucia. So let's take out time. This is from today into tomorrow. So this is our Wednesday, the green on the map. That would be some rain. So some increased rain for us in the northeastern Caribbean. Montserrat, Ceiba, St. Martin, back towards St. Croix. We could get some of those uh, scattered showers, even some widespread showers and some gusty winds. It's like a tropical wave moving in. We'll get some gustier winds, scattered showers, but not a named system in the northeastern Caribbean. Now as we work our way out in time, this here is Thursday and this here again, the European model. Watching out for some increase right now. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, still over toward Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla. We may get some extra rain out of this. Not a named system at this point on Thursday. So let's go out in time further. And you can see here, this is by Friday. On Friday, that's when we're going to get a lot of rain building back toward the Bahamas. Now, this is where uh, things kind of change. The models are completely different all over the place. I'll show you that in a moment as I break that down. We have a front back here. Well, the European model once again is saying, hey, we're going to see this area in the Bahamas. Increased rain, some gustier winds, north central southern Bahamas by Friday. Then after that, does it go to the Gulf or does it lift to the north? Well, uh, this latest model has this swinging very close to Florida. So as it moves toward Florida, if this were to kind of work, not develop the next few days, and then by Saturday or Sunday, get very, this is Saturday, get very close to Florida, the land interaction may actually prevent some development. If these things get over land, they don't develop because uh, they need water. Water is their source. So this is Saturday, but here's the frontier. Bahamas, wet at times, could see some gustier winds on Saturday. And then the European model says, yeah, this is going to lift to the north, very close to Florida, so it's not going to develop a whole lot. Uh, and then eventually, <coughs> excuse me, it'll lift to the north further. So here's Sunday, some extra rain, parts of Florida over toward the Bahamas, and then try to lift to the north. And if it stays over water, that's when it could develop further. You see here, this would be by Monday into Tuesday potentially into a tropical storm or eventually a hurricane very close to the Carolinas. But as I showed you the last few days, this keeps changing, but that's typical because this area has not developed yet. A few days ago, it was showing a hurricane over here, very close to Florida, kind of hooking back. Yesterday was showing a stronger tropical storm in the Bahamas. Today, it's not showing a tropical storm until it's closer to the Carolinas. So you see each day, the European model has been changing as uh, the other models have been too. That is normal, and that's why I look at a whole lot other than the, just the models. And the main thing is that I wanna see what this is once it's just past that area of dry air and dust. Now, here's the American model, a little bit different. Uh, this just taking you out in time here. Let me bring you into Wednesday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom down in a second, and I'll slow it down in a second. Let me bring you from Wednesday into Thursday. There's the increased rain, just like almost all the computer models have. They see this area fighting through the dry air, then increased rain, 
Haiti, the DR, Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands, Antigua, Barbuda, some increased rain uh, later this week. Then as we get into Friday and Saturday, it's not showing a developed system at this point. Show some extra rain, uh, potentially in Jamaica, but more so uh, Cayman Islands North, uh, Cuba, Haiti, the DR, so Hispaniola, and back toward the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. As we get into the weekend, area of disturbed weather. The American model uh, has less development out of this, though. It shows some of that rain back through the Bahamas and then trying to stretch some of that rain back toward the Gulf of Mexico. Now, here's the thing. The American model keeps this weaker, so it brings it, instead of lifting it to the Carolinas, it brings it to the Gulf of Mexico because it will be weaker. But with that said, once it gets into the Gulf, then it eventually has it spin up. So you can see how widely different these scenarios are at this time. So I'm um, not here to scare anyone. I, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll, we'll see what happens with this system. Need a day or two to kind of fine tune what will happen. But huge scenarios on this. So point being, it, it's a wait and see. We'll be doing this all season long. There's going to be many and many uh, systems uh, to track. Let's hope uh, we don't have too many, but we know how it goes. August, September, October, very busy in the hurricane season. We'll take it storm by storm together. But here's, here's what I'm looking at. Now, I mentioned the dry air. I want to see what happens on the other side of it. But to give you a feel of what I'm seeing is that if this system does get a little bit stronger near the Bahamas, say it becomes Tropical Storm Devi, say it becomes a classified name system, a stronger system would be more likely to be felt to kind of feel this front up here and lift to the north. So if we see this develop a little ahead of schedule and more like the European model saying, hey, it's going to develop uh, near the Bahamas, that would be more of a likelihood to lift to the north. The American model has a weaker scenario, and if it's weaker, it doesn't really feel the front up here. So it would just kind of drift its way through the Bahamas with some rain and then work its way into the Gulf. I mentioned weaker in the short term, but then it may eventually develop in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But a stronger system initially would lift more to the north. So what do the models have? Well, the European model, as I showed you, has this becoming a tropical storm and then eventually approaching the Carolinas. That's today, though. The American model has this weaker going into the Gulf, but then it has it develop into a tropical storm or a hurricane. And then as we get a look at the Canadian model, and the icon, they both eventually have it as a hurricane, but swinging more up toward the east coast of the United States. So Atlantic region of Canada, New England, keeping it into Carolinas, keeping an eye on that down the road, even, even Bermuda, uh, just kind of bringing it back toward the east. More of the models are a little bit to the east. A few of them are more to the west in the Gulf. I'm not sure which way it's going to go. I don't just lean to, hey, more of the models are uh, up the east coast. I'm not sure that's going to happen yet. Let's, let's wait and see on that. But the water temperature is so very warm, as we know, 30 degrees Celsius in the Bahamas. That's about 86, 87, 88 degrees Fahrenheit in spots. So a lot of fuel, but it's not just the warm water temperatures. It's the depth of that. There's a little orange in here and some of these yellows. That's warm water, but it's warm way down. That acts like a lot of fuel. You get these hot pockets in the Caribbean and the Gulf. Uh, you see across the Bahamas. So there's a lot of fuel, and that's why we know this season systems could be a whole lot of nothing and then uh, become strong quickly. And that is a concern, and I don't mean that in a frightening way, but we have seen that. We saw it with Barrel, and I did my best to be on top of that uh, for you. Uh, and I, 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 That's what I look at. I don't just look at the models. I know that there's some environmental conditions that could take something that's not a whole lot, and then all of a sudden it's a Category 1 or higher uh, hurricane. Now, here's the look closer look for us. You get a look at the uh, northeastern uh, Caribbean here, and you can see some of those spotty showers that are going to be around the next couple days. Not a lot, but as this disturbance fights through the dry air uh, by Thursday, that's when we're going to see a better chance of rain. The Dominican Republic, back through Puerto Rico, British U.S. Virgin Islands, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Bart's. Rain chance will pick up some, not a complete washout, but if you get some rain, it could be a little gusty at times. So seeing that rain chance picking up for us in the Northeastern Caribbean, but not seeing development. Now we have this, this is the spin. It's kind of a broad spin right in here. You kind of see it. Um, nothing too organized. That's what we're watching. And then there's that other strong tropical wave and another one that will come off. And I'll watch those as they come off the coast of Africa. Plenty of time to monitor those long term. Short term, watching this near Mexico, there's been a few flare ups on the eastern Pacific side. And I do expect a, a name storm or two to be somewhere out here. Uh, early indications are still that that would pull away from land. But I'll watch out for anything that may try to uh, hook back over toward uh, Mexico. 
but not seeing that right now. Elsewhere, scattered showers. We've seen a little disturbance near Haiti, Jamaica, parts of eastern Cuba. You may get some scattered showers and storms. Watching that today, uh, Costa Rica, Panama, some rain, scattered showers and storms, Guatemala, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana. We could get some of those scattered showers. Not much, uh, but there'll be a few around. But still, if you get a storm with all this daytime heating, that gives us a lot of energy, a lot of lift in the atmosphere. Some of the storms could be strong. This is our Wednesday. All eyes really on what's going on off to the east to see how the uh, next system develops. And then there you see it, the increased chance of rain as we get into Thursday. At that point, uh, once it passes the dry air, I'll have a very good handle on uh, how strong it will get and exactly where it will go. I'm just waiting for it to get on the uh, flip side of that, uh, that dry air. So uh, choppy a little bit, Central uh, Caribbean, which is normal for this time of year, but you can see the seas building Atlantic waters with this uh, disturbance the next few days, just giving a heads up. And of course, later in the week, this here is uh, tomorrow. And then as we work our way into Thursday and then even more so into the weekend, of course, the seas are going to be up regardless of if this is a name system or not. As we get toward the Bahamas, this is by Thursday. And you can see the elevated sea is just north of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. So it will get choppier. This here is by the time we get into Friday. And then if we have a developing system, of course, the seas are just going to build further as we get into the uh, weekend forecast. Should be building further no matter what. Now, as we get a look at the showers and storms, I mentioned spotty. So you see a few brighter colors. But let me zoom down here, eastern uh, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Republic, Puerto Rico. A lot of this is a couple days from now. Uh, where we could get some totals of uh, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain as this tropical disturbance moves by and starts to make its way uh, toward the Bahamas. So watching out for some areas of rain and storms. Well, as I mentioned, not a washout. Some of us may only pick up 25 millimeters of rain at best, while others could get 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. To the south, we are drier. Dominica to the south, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, uh, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago. Not as much rain. Could get some uh, scattered shower, especially over toward uh, Trinidad, where we did have some flooding uh, yesterday. I mentioned the active period for us in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, rain has been cutting off somewhat in Suriname. We still have some flooding in parts of northeastern Venezuela and Guyana. In these pockets, if we get some of these showers and storms around that are just persistent, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, we could get some higher totals. Cayman Islands uh, over toward uh, Jamaica, uh, just a few showers. Yucatan uh, Peninsula, mainly dry. Near Mexico City, we'll see a better chance of rain to the north, though. Uh, uh, drier conditions. Now, Atlantic region of Canada, we're going to keep an eye on this action. If this turns out to be an East Coast solution, we'll see how close this uh, gets to us down the road. In the meantime, scattered showers. It's going to be active the next few days. Another batch of rain coming out of Quebec. You can see it here as we work our way late into our Wednesday, Wednesday night, and Thursday. You see this front that will be pulling by. So on Thursday, even over toward Newfoundland, we'll see a better chance of some rain and storms. In the meantime, next couple of days, Jamaica will have an isolated shower or thunderstorm and very hot Cayman Islands. We're looking at a 20 to 30 percent chance, a 60 percent chance of some scattered showers. Not so much Tobago, but more so Trinidad for today. We could get some around 30 percent chance in Barbados, 30 percent chance in St. Lucia, a little bit higher tomorrow and Wednesday, 20 to 30 percent chance across a Grenada. Rain chance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, only 20 percent today. Then you see the rain chance a little higher on Thursday in Martinique, could get a couple passing showers, 40 to 50 percent chance in Dominica tomorrow and Thursday. Thursday, Guadalupe, 50% chance mid to late week, and the rain chance bounces up. You see it there in Tiga and Barbuda with some of this action moving in, a 50% chance by tomorrow. 50% chance, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, so we'll start to get the scattered shower. Same thing, Anguilla and St. Bart's as this tropical disturbance slides by. Rain chance up to 50%, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia by Thursday. Puerto Rico, we're looking at a 50 to 60% chance tomorrow and Thursday. Scattered areas of rain and storms, and it will be unsettled as well, later this week, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Bahamas, we're looking at a rain chance, uh, very uh, isolated for now, but all our eyes are on this uh, system for the uh, weekend. Same thing, Turks and Caicos. Rain chance, though, by Thursday into Friday will be getting higher. Dominican Republic will be up to a 50% chance on Thursday and a growing rain chance later this week in Haiti. Rain chance about 40 to 50% in Belize, but if you get a downpour, we could see some isolated flooding. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, mainly dry conditions. 
conditions the next few days. Rain chance will eventually trend down some in Guyana. It has gone down some 30-40% uh, chance of rain in Suriname. Isolated storms in Cuba favoring our eastern end. 60-70% to 70 chance Costa Rica and Panama. 60% chance in Nicaragua. And looking at a 60% chance not all of us get the rain in Honduras, but where we do, we could get some flooding, especially eastern sections. Guatemala and El Salvador, about a 50-60% to 60 chance. Same thing as we work our way back toward Mexico City, but not as much. Mainly dry Merida, Cozumel, uh, Cancun, northern Colombia, rain chance isolated. Isolated shower storm in uh, northern Venezuela and a better chance of that front clipping by in uh, Bermuda today. Keep me posted if you get a couple of those uh, showers. So this tropical wave, tropical disturbance right now is battling that dry air. But either way, once it jumps over, as we get into later this week, as I was showing you, especially by Thursday, the rain chance will increase for parts of the northern and northeastern Caribbean. Not a named system, though. After that, as it gets closer to the Bahamas, it may start to spin up, but the track and strength still uncertain. I showed you what I was seeing. If it's a stronger system early, it may lift to the north. If it stays weaker, it may shoot into the Gulf of Mexico. So I'll keep an eye on things around the clock. Got you covered. Be safe. Have a good rest of your day.